Shut up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. Wee. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG, just no Do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. What it do, T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, and I am here with a brand new Spill the Tea video. You guys, season seven of The Real Housewives of Potomac hasn't even started, and the girls are already dragging Giselle for filth. <laughs> and I am here for it. So, a picture of one of Giselle's confessional looks were posted or leaked today to social media baby and candace and karen ate her ass the hell up first of all let's take a look at her confessional look for this upcoming season well one of her confessional looks what in the christina aguilera dirty is going on here <laughs> I know they're bringing the 90s and the early 2000s fashions back, but this hairstyle has not come back. The skunk highlights are not back at all. Who on God's green earth said, girl, this the one, bitch. We about to kill him with this one. We about to do it, baby. First of all, the dye job is horrible. The roots, what is going on with the roots? It, 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 it oh lord it looked like coffee it literally looks like somebody accidentally dropped or spilled coffee in the center of her wig these chunk highlights of brown are just uh-uh no no it looked like a mud slide why are Giselle's wigs never plucked the part is never plucked I don't understand why they don't want it to look realistic. They just want it to give wig. Um, can we get the parts plucked so it looks like it's actually coming out of her scalp? If you're not going to do a lace front, ma'am, you can at least do that. But this hairstyle, bitch, is literally giving me MTV TRL 2000s. In sync was number one for you tearing up my heart when I'm with you. <laughs> and no matter what I do, <laughs> Giselle looked like a Justin Timberlake groupie. Like, I mean, at this point, I think she's in on the joke. She don't give a fuck. Uh, she's known for her horrible fashions her horrible hair so she said you know what this is my judge this is my thing and i'm gonna stick with it this is a part of my brand bad coles marshall's fashion honey everything about giselle just reads cheap 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 and I really think that at this point she relies on her looks because we're not going to act like she's not a beautiful woman. But girl, you can't keep no man because you walk around looking like this, girl. But Roberto loves it. Roberto, a.k.a. Robin, you know, is a supportive, you know, spouse. She going to ride with her boo thing no matter what. You know what I'm saying? They are in a loving couple. They understand each other, you know. So I'm going I'm to give them that. But, baby, it took for Karen and Candace to eat her ass up that had me cracking the hell up. Let me read you their tweets. So, Karen was the first one that rat tagged her ass. Karen took to social media... <laughs> And said, you've got to love her skunk hair design and all. <laughs> and then Candace came with the one hit a quitter and said, I think that the network has a responsibility to step in when our interview looks are criminally offensive because my God today. <laughs> Candace Reed was way better than Karen's. And y'all know I don't even like Candace. And I really feel like this season I'm going to be 
like fucking with her even though i don't like her but you gotta give it to the bitch the bitch can read her ass off and especially since her and giselle will be going heads up i'm so looking forward to the reads on giselle so looking forward to it because baby this is an atrocity this is a a this her style is accosting my eyes i feel like i am being visually accosted by this woman but somebody on the internet decided to uh make a, a montage a, a collage of all the fucked up wigs that has come out of potomac giselle ain't the only one that has given us a wig offense let's take a look at some of the iconic confessional and uh regular scene wigs child oh lord get ready freddy first up we got karen we all remember this wig this was in the, it was at that picnic when candy's husband was uh feeding them the barbecue and karen wig kept on shifting child because it wasn't tacked down good baby Oh Lord, this let me know, let me know. Wig <laughs> was a mess, honey. Her and that Aaliyah swoop, she tried, she tried, and she tried it, and she tried us. But we gonna forgive Karen because Karen ain't had a mix up for real, for real since then. Not that I can recall off the top of my head. Second, we have Crazy Katie. Remember when Katie came back, child? I want to say that was season three when Katie came back, and that whole season, her and this monstrosity of a wig this wig literally looked like she found it on the middle of route 66 <laughs> it looked like you know how you be randomly driving down the street and you just see weave matted up weave on the street and you be like well how did this get here like what is the backstory of how this landed here that is how katie's wig looked that entire season and it just added to her eccentric ways and the cuckoo-ness that came out of her this season it was legendary i live for katie i want katie back bring katie back we need to start a petition for that and nobody can forget this oh god this 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 i don't even know what to call this this was at the season four reunion the epic reunion where giselle got taken down by monique and karen and robin decided to show up with this bob wig that literally looked like it had tire marks on it i don't know who in the hell was a part of her glam squad that said girl we gone spray paint some tire marks on this bitch to give it some flavor first of all the the wig itself is choppy it's lumpy it's it's just a mess but it was the 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 piss poor dye job you got platinum you got piss blonde you got the the track marks it's like what in the fuck is going on it literally looked like she laid it down on the ground at karen's form and said karen get the tractor trailer and run over it <laughs> this, this is what it was given this was just horrible this really proved to us that roberto was a butch lesbian like no qualms questions about it because no straight woman would walk out the house like this by far the one of the worst wigs that came out of potomac was ashley darby this was when she was first pregnant and i don't know what was going on over there somebody hated her somebody said i'm gonna sabotage this bitch this looked like one of her mama wigs child i don't know why this happened she has really nice hair i don't know who decided to go dig up one of rick james old wigs and say <laughs> she's a very freaky girl child i don't i don't get it i don't get it like never is it a good idea to have a curly wig that is shoulder length with bangs that are curly themselves i i don't i don't really know i don't really know child this was 
this was whoa this was this was a lot i think this was when michael said you know what love don't live here anymore because <laughs> this bitch that lost her mind child michael checked out as soon as she wore this confessional wig you can't tell me he didn't child let me know what y'all think about giselle's season seven confessional wig do you think that the dragation was necessary do you like it would you wear it which is your um uh, worst wig ever uh which would you consider would be the first the I mean the worst wig ever from potomac let's talk down below in the comment section i have not forgotten season one and giselle and that choppy ass weave that she had that was that was that was special that was a special time you guys let's talk down below in the comment section make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you and i will see you on the next video bye